In this video, I'm going to go over question three from the Math 256 Midterm 2 from uh, 2017. Uh, this question is actually the second part of two questions. Uh, the previous question asked about finding the general solution to the homogeneous problem. And so in this part, we're just looking for a particular solution to the equation uh, d dt of the vector x, y, both functions of t, are equal uh, matrix 2, 1, minus 4, minus 2, multiplied by vector x, y, plus vector 3, minus 6. Okay, so what we need to do for this question is find a particular solution, I guess at a form for a particular solution that will allow us to solve this problem. So let me write down the problem. It's x, y prime equal matrix 2, 1, minus 4, minus 2 times x, y plus 3, minus 6. Now in this case, the homogeneous equation is this part here, if you were to ignore this vector at the end. And so the non-homogeneous term is a constant vector. So the naive thing to do, which will actually work in this case, but doesn't work in general for matrices like this, and I'll show you why that is as we go through the solution, the, um, the guess that we're going to make is that vector x of t, which is just another way of writing the xy vector here, is equal to some constant vector v. Now if x is equal to some constant vector v, then x prime of t, which is the left-hand side of this equation, will be equal to 0 because a constant vector has a derivative 0. But according to the equation up here, it will also be equal to matrix 2, 1, minus 4, minus 2 multiplied by v plus 3, minus 6. So what we end up with here is just a matrix equation to solve. This can be done in a number of ways. Well, what I'm going to use, the technique I'm going to use here is just writing down the augmented matrix 2, 1, minus 4, minus 2, and then on this side, well, remember that I have to bring this 3 minus 6 over to the other side, so my augmented matrix will have a minus 3 and a 6 in it. And now when I row reduce, I add twice the first row to the second row, and that gives me no change in the first row. And in the second row, I get minus 4 plus 4, 0 minus 2 plus 2, 0, and 6 plus minus 3 times 2 is minus 6, so 6 minus 6 is also 0. Now you can see here that um, even though the matrix was not invertible and I ended up with a row of zeros, because the entries in the non-homogeneous term here were carefully chosen, we're lucky in that case because we get a 0 on the right-hand side of this equation, and that doesn't mess up our ability to solve for v1 and v2. Had the entries here been different from 3 and minus 6, let's say it had been 3 and 1, then we'd end up with a non-zero entry here and we wouldn't be able to continue solving this system. And what that indicates is that our initial guess here of v was insufficient for solving the problem. We need a slightly more complicated one in general. x of t we should guess is actually not a constant vector, but a vector v times t plus some w. And if we make this assumption, we can, even if we don't have a nice non-homogeneous term here, we can still continue and solve the problem. But I won't go through that in this example because that wasn't required. This was a somewhat simple case because of the careful choice of non-homogeneous term. So let's write down the equation that we need to solve. It's 2 times v1 plus v2 equal minus 3. And there's a whole family of solutions. For every v2 that I choose, I can find a v1 that makes this equation true. So I'm going to just make my life easier and choose v1 to be 0, just so I don't have to have a fraction in my answer. And in that case, v2 has to be minus 3. So this is one particular solution that will solve the equation that we were given. And if you solved problem two of the midterm, you know that the homogeneous solution uh, can also be found, and I'm just going to denote that x sub h of t. And this 
is the general solution for the non-homogeneous equation. Now the question here only asks for a particular solution, so 0 minus 3 would have been sufficient. But this is just so you see how it fits in with the general solution. Now I should add that there's an added complication in this problem that we didn't run into because of the convenient structure and nature of the non-homogeneous term. This matrix here is uh, non-invertible and so we should in general for other vectors over here need to include a vt plus w as our particular guess. But this matrix is actually even worse than just not invertible. Um, and the reason for that is that the column space, that is the vectors 1 minus 2 and 2 minus 4, which span the same space, also span the null space of this matrix. So this is actually, it, it, to solve this in general for other, other vectors other than 3 minus 6 or similarly structured ones, is actually even more complicated and we have to include a t squared term. And you can play around with that if you're ambitious, but that was not at all part of this problem. But just a warning if you try to solve this for a different vector.